Hello and welcome to The Brief, where we bring you economic developments that occurred in the previous week and key activities to watch in the new week. It is the first week of August 2022 and the uncertainty over the nation's foreign exchange market is having adverse effects on the nation's economy and posing a great concern for the stability of several businesses. For the socioeconomic events from last week, Nigerian telecommunications consumers may need to tighten their belts in the days ahead as the federal government has concluded plans to impose 5% excise duty on all telecommunications services ranging from calls, SMS to data services. This is coming as major stakeholders in the sector, the Association of Licensed Telecoms Operators of Nigeria, Association of Telecommunications Companies of Nigeria, and the National Association of Telecom Subscribers have kicked against the move, describing it as anti-people, provocative, strange, insensitive, and irresponsible. Last week, the Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange was inaugurated for real-time trading with the high-profile launch of the Eco Gold Coins, valued at £100 million in tranches, commencing the much-awaited electronic trading of commodities received in Nigeria. Before the inauguration, the LCFE had conducted a series of test trades on the state-of-the-art technology and other basic infrastructure to drive the operation processes in line with global best practices. The Federal Accounts Allocation Committee for the month of June 2022 shared 802.4 billion naira across the federal, state, and local governments. Of this amount, the federal government received 321.86 billion naira, the state governments 245.42 billion naira, while local governments got 182.3 billion naira. For the week ended 29 June 2022, the key highlights revealed the following. The equities market recorded mixed performance. The listed equities market NGX ASI recorded a minus 3.10% loss week on week, and the NSD OTC closed positive with a plus 2.10% gain. The INE FX rate closed negative and an FX rate closed positive. The BDC rates closed positive. The Brent crude oil price and West Texas Intermediate crude oil price moved up at the end of the week. The FMDQ debt market size closed negative. The FX ACI closed positive while the AI index closed negative. From what to expect from the markets this week, published by ProShare. From the money market, ProShare analysts expect the interbank rates to remain at a double digit level in the week. For the Treasury bills market, analysts expect the bearish sentiments to wane this week, while in the secondary market, ProShare expects a further rise in the average benchmark yield as the bearish sentiment persists. For the economic, financial and capital market events to watch this week. On Tuesday, August 2, 2022, Lafarge Africa PLC will hold its facts behind the sustainability report. The event will have as chief host Mr. Temi Popola, CEO of Nigeria Exchange Limited, while Mr. Khalid El Dokani, the CEO of Lafarge, will make the presentation. Time for the event is 1.30 p.m. Also on the same date, the Nigeria British Chamber of Commerce will host its August 2022 sharing experience titled Winning a Competitive Dynamic Telecommunications Sector with Carl Toriola, CEO of MTN Nigeria, as the keynote speaker. The time is 11 a.m. On Wednesday, August 3, 2022, Fintech Nigeria will lead stakeholders to a discourse on regulating Nigeria's fintech industry, building investors' confidence without stifling growth. Venue of the event is Civic Center and the time is 8 a.m. On Friday, August 5, 2022, Fondal, a subsidiary of Emerging Africa Group, will host an event at the EAG campus, Ikoi. And that will be all for this edition of The Brief. You can join our website, www.proshare.co, to read our news stories, reports, and watch our videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and please stay safe.